In this video, we will look at reducing by first focusing on reducing fractions. To reduce fractions, you may remember that we divide out common factors. As we do this, to help us prepare for rational expressions, we're going to focus on every step in slow motion as it works out. We would look at 24 and 15, and to reduce it, we notice they both have a common factor of 3. This is because the 24 is 3 times 8. 15 in the denominator is 3 times 5. Because we see this common factor multiplied in the numerator, we can divide it out, leaving us with just the 8 fifths. What I want to notice us doing is factoring that numerator and denominator to 3 times 8 and 3 times 5 before we did any reducing. Let's take a look at another example. 48 and 18. We're familiar with 48 and 18, both having a common factor of 6. This is because 48 is 6 times 8, and 18 is 6 times 3. Because we see the common factor in the numerator and denominator, we divided out the 6's, which gives us just the 8 thirds remaining. Again, it is important to note that before we reduced, we identified a common factor for each the numerator and denominator. We did not simply look at the expression and cross off the 8's because we saw them on top and bottom. That would not be allowed. In order to reduce to the correct answer of 8 thirds, we had to first factor the numerator and denominator. 